What's up guys? This is the Braverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off about last time and the Austrians managed to march around us and I was tempting to try get to the south and push them back um, but this time they've intercepted me so this is going to be a battle where we really want to try and kill as many as possible and we're probably going to hound them on. Let's take them out because they're going to push south they're probably going to take Athens and that's going to be frustrating. Um... But at the very least, we'll have destroyed another Austrian stack. And I've got a feeling that we are keeping up. Well, we're keeping up and beating their rate of unit replenishment. So I think if they attempt to try to outproduce us, they will be in for a shock. Um, but let's drop my guns over here because I'm going to push in with my battle line I want to over surround overwhelm and destroy and that includes employing even my seminaries in that endeavour Drop some cavalry over here. Good. Let's push my line up aggressively. Our artillery's pounding their artillery, as is tradition. on guard mode. I mainly want them in a good position to ambush this line infantry. This regiment of horse thankfully have stopped, which means they'll put them in range of our infantry. My seminaries are going to be pretty useless, but damn, I've got lots of them. So we're gutting down this provincial cav. They probably stick around so they now have fire by rank so we are going to be relying on overwhelming firepower keeping them down let's push my right flank up more aggressively I could do with you guys firing some more shots Cavalry moving on. Just get my artillery just to pound some unit in the centre. Muskets, keep my bashies coming around, keep my infantry coming around. I found there are regulars and some foot guards, that's probably a bad idea. So you can intercept them while they're deploying stakes. You hit the militia. Probably in good enough shape to pull around to start hitting the flank. These guys can continue to fire into the militia here. Okay, there go the irregulars. Let's get my general's bodyguard out to safety. So 
they destroy that unit of garrison guards because it's trying to route through them. Cavalry continue its push. This fellow in Musketeers can just kill them. You guys should be able to kill those guys. Set a unit to chase down the militia. Get my camels out of the way. Actually, they're about to kill these guardsmen. So let's get my camels to take out the provincial cavalry, get my general to take out the guards. Aware of the fact that there are and ours. The cavalry to chase down the line infantry. My feline to hit the cavalry too. Retarget artillery is starting to cause friendly fire challenges. Let's get my general's bodyguard out of there. Out of there. You chase down the foot guards. Get my camels chase down the general. Don't really care about provincial cav. damage as possible. That's the order of the day. My Bashis come and hit the land there. They're probably going to rout. They're either going to die from... They're going to lose to my Feline in combat or they're going to be fired upon by my Cerellis in the flank anyway. Let's send my Bashis in. Because once this combat's over... want to do something like this to help provide more fire into the center. Yeah, some of my bashes to chase them down. Everyone else is suitably employed. No, you don't go over here, you wait for a more advantageous target. Stand me and my Felina we're gonna rout because I didn't turn them back on to fire at will quickly enough. Bring the camels up over here, because that's what these guys are trying to route. You can really do with... Oh, there's the general's bodyguard, actually. It's... Camels can go knock him out. Probably not going to chase them down, but that's okay. Two troops there we can kill reliably. These men are going to get peppered all the way along by my infantry. That's pretty good. So let's get the feline. They're all the way in the distance to intercept. Intercept the units routing. There's five men there. You should kill them. General's dead, which is nice. General's bodyguard is still alive. So let's get them over here to start killing some of this infantry. See with you really, I'm not so bothered about the, the regulars. Hey, they're actually the militia are actually coming back. Set my infantry in. Turn off the artillery. Let's pivot this line. Did you get my general to we'll wait for this artillery to fire? bash into them, but it's always a risk, because you know how my luck is with generals. Oh, 
not especially bad when that happens. Good. Go after the Swiss line. And then let's triple speed it. So the Landwehr militia, not much of a problem. It's the main infantry, that's what we want. That's truly what will cause them to break in future battles. So they're going to route. Let's bring you guys back to go help kill the Swiss line. This land bear unit's probably going to rout. I don't know, my camels might actually get there. They might not kill them, but they'll do some damage. Maybe not as much as I would like. Not as much if they were a cavalry unit. This is the last unit and they're about to rout. Well, imminently. Yeah, they're just so slow. The only unit, unit left on the board. It's my Feline chasing down the 11th. And the only hope is that if I right click him, he stops and decides to fight. Like that! <laughs> and we slice his head off. Close victory. That wasn't close. That was a good victory. They're still going to do damage when they go south. But not as much. They've only got 400 men left. I mean, yeah, you come down there and take him out. Good. So they are alive, but let's do let's do some of this. Let's do some combining of my feline units because I do want them to gradually get phased out. I've already got rid of two, which need resupply next turn. We get twelve thousand cash next turn, supposedly. Growing up a nice little navy here. So let's combine you guys. Good stuff. Got a good force if they do decide to push us. I mean, that's lots of cavalry there. And lots of good infantry. That's quite a, a balanced set of armies there. So we do want Mr. Mehmet to get back into the action as quickly as possible. In terms of tech, things are progressing okay, although I'd rather like... Kayseri, maybe, to keep going down the naval techs. Movement's not as much of a problem, because we're quite local in the Eastern Mediterranean. Copper bottoms would be nice. Movement is handy. Reduce of upkeep, that's a good one to get. Not that we've got much of a navy, but I do plan on expanding it further. And let's see if one of these guys is good to replace our navy minister. So this guy's <laughs> level pegging. Order, plus one happiness. Nasty, we haven't got any real navy guys showing up. Hmm. That's the trouble. Okay. Tidens then. So we've got some good scope to rebuild our force to the south. Yep, so the understandably the Austrians are gonna take advantage of that coverage in our lines, but we've done it. You know, that gap of coverage was produced from destroying an entire Austrian army. So I consider that quite a good win. You can see the Russians are now starting to gather on our borders to the east. So it may be worth fortifying one of the border towns. At the very least, we've got my priest up there to provide early warning. And it may even be worth trying to get peace with Russia. As much as I don't want to, I'd rather, I, you know, I, I like being at war with everyone, especially when I'm a decent nation. Um, but I want to focus my efforts onto the central, central Europe. Okay, let's send those guys up. You guys just go kill them. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually, that is a loss. Exchange ratio. Okay, so you guys... Replenish and then probably 
Right, what I'd like to do is probably merge some of these melee units. Probably get some more guns and some more um, cavalry, really. So over here, here's an army. Ivan Anton with a fairly boring army. And we do have a garrison here. And we do, Tbilisi is garrisoned, so we are ready. I could build forts. Realistically, I might want to do that. So let's build a preemptive fort here. Not that we're going to deliberately garrison it now. But if we get early warning with our spy, I can redeploy my army up to this fort to make sure I catch them in a choke point so they don't decide to come south and create trouble. If they come through this gap, they'll hit Tbilisi, but if they come through this gap here, they've got quite a big open space to cause mayhem. Is Yerevan still converting? Persia's got a new university, and I've got 4,000 to spend. Pasha's palace are always quite good to build, but that's also two bays mansions in other places, which are also handy, so are farms. Low yield, average yield. Very poor trade port, but it's also quite valuable, so I'm going to build a light galley to occupy it. Two more bays mansions, I suppose. Oh, but then again, actually, I need to... So you are being replenished, but let's get some stuff for you guys. Howitzers would be good. Mania want some cavalry. Really want heavy cavalry. When can I start getting heavy cavalry? Or do you does this faction already get heavy cavalry? So what have you got? Speaking of one camels, one mamluks. Okay, so let's get Could get an organ gun because well then again it's quite stumpy in terms of range. It's funny, but I do like a bit more standoff range. See, even how it says a bit short range and they're still longer range than those. Get some how it says, but where are they being recruited from? Is it Istanbul? It is. So that's a bit of a gauntlet to run. So I might not do that. Let's see what can I get out of this area. Nothing, because I have no artillery. Okay, so let's get a unit of Mamelukes and a unit of... Can I not get any more Camel Nomads? I suppose I can't safely get them over into theatre, I suppose. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I'm limited, but, well, if I can't get them, then... If I can't get them over here easily, then I'll probably go for... Maybe one unit of Mamelukes and another unit, one unit of Janissary Musketeers. Yep, yeah, more garrison for Ankara. To help offset the universities. We're going we're gonna to get a ooh, new technology opened up. So, ah, Britain is pushing. Finally, from their territory. And they're also sailing in a fleet. See how far they get. Or are they going to land it off of Italy? That would be a turn up for the books there. So what Britain is likely to do is do some raiding on the way up to Persia. Then I will attack them back down to their region. That's my plan. I don't want to push out because I'm always really bad. At, um, sorry, I should check my heaters as long as I'm a bit hot. Um, I'm not going to plan on moving out and intercepting them because they always seem to do that really badly. The Mughals are pushing back into America, which is good for them. The 
is the Barbary States. Depending on the size of the British fleet, I might go try and intercept it. Um, capture some, some ships and whatnot. And what I'm going to do is quickly grab a restroom break. So, one sec, guys, I'm only human. And I'm back. Whew. So, we've got new model bayonet drill has been researched at Kamansha. So let's not do that. Let's instead start to try and pick up some of these industrial techs that are cheap. Seed planting drills are good, but I'm not. The farms are cheap anyway, so I'm not so bothered about that. I'll probably get coke blast furnaces. They're a bit more expensive, but damn, they produce a lot of plus fourteen percent wealth. It's pretty big. So this British army is down here. They may, or they likely look like they're going to head south and hit Bandar Abbas, which is annoying, but... Actually, based on what I, Even though I just said I won't, I think I might march down to here. Because that puts us in a good opportunity. If they go south and back up, they can't advance too far up this valley. If they, went, if they go straight for it, I'll go straight back to Persia. Okie dokie, so 1800 cash. Yeah, you're a de former dead general's bodyguard. Okay, first, let's do some cash money spending. So this is the cavalry coming to join me in due course. <laughs> Probably good. be good to upgrade this to a commercial basin. And then proceed not to do it. <laughs> uh because it's a big chunk of chunk of cash but it's probably a good investment let's get another fourth rate in the build queue let's upgrade that as a big chunk in the economy spending water power cloth mills are always good make people a bit more unhappy but shall we build the rest of this into the Pasha's palace the Russians aren't moving they're just watching which is good slowly converting the population of Don Voisco not that it'll help because they've got a good garrison farms do I just upgrade this to a to a uh, top level madrasa probably Islam's starting to get up there no I don't want to upgrade this because that's raiding fodder for anyone coming from the north Maybe do some farm spending to just stop the arrows from spinning out of control. Although not all of them, because I am going to want to do some uh, replenishment after... Oh, that's definitely an auto. That really is an auto there. I mean, we lost far too many men for that. Let's get back up to the border. So I might use these guys to try and threaten Belgrade, but it does mean I'll probably want to build up a bit of a garrison in Athens, even if just to feed troops north. This navy is... I mean, it's three-fifths, two-sixths, and a sloop. That's within my capability. So let's go knock out these guys, because they could technically send them anywhere including against me so let's go attack this royal navy ship and this is the sort of thing we're probably going to need to do more often so let's pick up I, mean, I definitely didn't need to send all of them but oh well so let's shoot off to the side my hope is is that even with by send, by sending more ships it ends up that the result is that um, no one ship is particularly heavily damaged unfortunately deploying all the way out here does increase my <laughs> the time it takes to actually get into battle especially when they're doing stuff like they're sailing into the wind Valiant, Bourbon, which sounds French to me. Diomede, 
Dumbarton Castle, Shannon, and Achilles. So all of these. Not sure about Bourbon. And that's the only one that I would look at and go, is that do that used to be French? But let's see. All we've got to do is just keep scooting along at full sail. So I'll take the fifths I'll keep if I can if as long as I don't sink the rest. I'll cannibalize to help pay for the refurbishment of these guys. But even though my lighter ships are faster, I like sailing in with my heavies first so they don't get too you know, I don't have my light ships tangling up front as the heavy firepower chases up the rear. I, I think I'm I generally prefer getting my heavies into the fight and then having my lighter ships speed up to catch up if they need to. So Valiant is going to engage just as my ship starts to get within range. And to be honest, you might start firing chain in order to try and knock out some sails from Valiant. Any sails? Any mass down? No. Sadly not. But let's do something like that. So we can keep the ships sailing. load your my bad guys it's like I clicked off screen I clicked off off the side of my monitor um. full raking the stern Ship, but it looks like it's not gonna make the turn to pour a grid broadside into that ship, so you may as well pivot back around so I can use your other cannons. I can never remember my port and starboard. Um, just stop, and now to, although I expect you're probably gonna miss your. Miss your chance to use your right hand broadside. Shot into that beautiful target. You're not going to be able to fire many cannons either, but that's a good looking chain shot target. Last down. guy in a position to engage Bourbon specifically. Fifth is starting to get into the action. Too bad most of those shots miss. Pivot you. Thank you. 
going to be not fully reloaded. And my left is going to hope to knock some holes in her sails. Bit of friendly fire, never hurt anyone. So you've surrendered and you're on fire. Too bad your port board side is now ruined. Lots of shots on the Diomede. side anyway. Okay, it would be lovely to try take the Shannon. to engage the Admiral ship and also get ready to chase them down. Could have fired that, but it didn't want to. Well, the end of the Karim Ali. The Admiral's dead. If you can get out of the way quick enough, I might be actually going to fire this broadside. The barn castle's down. Fifth rate to try to chase the sloop down. Everyone else has surrendered. I suspect this sloop's going to successfully rout. Which will be a shame. But that's the advantage of having a heavier ship having uh, smaller ships. Go through and individually set all these guys to full sail. I mean, granted, they are sailing pretty far, pretty against the wind. Are they going to let you get close enough to try and hit out a sail? Or must. There you go, there goes the main mist. She's not going to be travelling very far now. Yep, we're going to continue, we're not going to fall for that old trick. 
See, if we don't take this ship, that's the British army escaping. And now they are all our prisoners. So, fifth yes, fifth yes, sixth no, sixth no, sloop no. All of them must have sank. Still, 1800 in prize money, and there goes an entire British stack. And you guys run back to Piraeus. So you sorted all this out, you've all been recruited. 2,000 smackaroonies. To invest in something, it's probably, I'm going to say... Get rid of one of these farms. All these annoying icons. Let's set the cavalry run up to Mehmet. I mean, it's too bad I can't recruit anything for him. Not anything useful. Um, that's okay. Half workshops, barracks in Jerusalem. Not that I'm really going to use barracks in Jerusalem. Oh, now the British are cooking. Yeah, so now we can, because they've gone to raid the port, we can actually intercept that British stack and push it back towards Persia. But this just reaffirms the need to invest hard in our navy. So really I could probably do with having more naval ports to build more ships. I mean, granted I've got one in Persia, but I'm not really taking advantage of that. Mainly because my naval spending. Oh, the Mughals have landed in America again. So that Royal Navy, I'm probably not going to be able to take out because my ships are damaged and it's probably a reasonably decent Navy by this part of the game. Let's the Raiden and Bandar Abbas. Let's get our ships back in. Let's get you rebuilt. Let's go back over to the fleet. I mean, I can't see what they've got because it's in the fog of war. Let's get you back to Greece quicker rather than sooner rather than later, I should say. I mean, we could. I don't know. Does it make sense to send them back all the way back to Anatalia? Why not? Right now, that port's protected, and we're not going to be doing any actually. Actually, we're not going to actually be doing any assaults. Okay, when you finish that, you'd go down to the reform naval architectures to get a dry dock and proceed quickly down the route. Ooh, lots more industry buildings built. It's not helped our tax because we've probably... Is it because you've been blockaded? Nope. Probably due to our increased military expenditure. So you guys will punish and then you pick up... I think that's still probably... Istanbul that's coming from, isn't it? Yeah, let's do that. Probably gonna need to take out Sigmund Sigismund Weingartner. 900 men, that's a lot more. A lot more than I would have liked. Okay, 2,000 for a weaver's cottage. That's a good idea, because it's industry... You're not worth it yet. An extra 100 gold and an increased unhappiness is not what I need for this region. Uh, but better roads could be a good idea. Trouble is, there's so much. Oh, there's so much stuff I want to. Sp so much money I want to spend everywhere. My dad doesn't have roads either. And if Ankara earns us more cash, let's get some roads here. Unit recruited, Israeli in Greece. Except so trying to buff up our... Oh, I've not even got good roads in, in Greece. Okay, so we're going to have a British army attack us somewhere. We've got, obviously, these guys who we want to push up to here. And then intercept. 
but looking at the timer, I believe that's time to end the part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the first attack of the Middle Eastern British forces. Cheers, everyone.